Respect and Tolerance Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim In the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful. In a time where people come from many different cultures and religions are merging at a faster pace, understanding respect and tolerance is more important than ever before. In order for us to build and contribute toward a harmonious, diverse society, we need to be respectful and show tolerance to those around us. Firstly, let us understand the meaning of the terms. Respect. To have and show a positive attitude and behaviour towards someone. Tolerance. Allowing others to be different and to do different. Someone may say, Saying Merry Christmas may also be seen as a sign of respect for another's culture. A non-Muslim saying Happy Eid to a Muslim friend is not acknowledging the revelation of the Qur'an. She is just showing respect and tolerance. However, this is not the case for people who have religious moral values. Respecting people from other cultures and religions is not achieved by expecting them to participate in religious activities, especially when it opposes their religious moral values. In fact, this is an aspect of intolerance, and if we desire to build a harmonious, diverse society, we need to be respectful and tolerant. People can be respectful of others regardless of their culture or religion. However, this doesn't mean they need to compromise their religious moral values. For example, Muslims and Christians can work together, live together and where permissible marry each other. However, this doesn't mean that they should be forced or compelled to partake in anything which goes against their religion. And it is important to know that in this example these two religions directly oppose each other in their primary doctrines. It is blasphemy for Christians according to most sects, to say that Jesus is not the Son of God, while in Islam it is blessed me to say that Jesus is the Son of God. So respect takes place in all worldly matters, while tolerance takes place in relation to allowing others to adhere to their religious beliefs and practices, providing human rights are not compromised. For example, the respect and tolerance that Muslims have for Hindus can be seen when they show their respect to Hindus in all aspects of this worldly life. And tolerance is seen whereby Muslims do not expect Hindus, who worship cows, to partake or celebrate with the Muslims when they sacrifice cows during the age of the sacrifice. And that tolerance is reciprocated from the Hindus when they accept Muslims' worship. Furthermore, some religions have no issues in sharing certain celebrations. This is because there is no compromise of religious moral values. An example of this can be seen where the Muslims celebrate the day of Ashura, the 10th day of Muharram, by fasting this day, which was also celebrated by the Jews as it was the day the children of Israel were saved from the Pharaoh. And for those people with no religious moral values, they have no issues with partaking in others' acts of worship at all. This is because they have no religious moral boundaries to compromise. However, when others' religious moral values are understood, accepted and given allowances for, this is when a nation will be able to build a truly diverse and harmonious society, and that is the ultimate form of respect and tolerance. Remember to be respectful at all times and be tolerant by allowing others to be different from you and to do things differently. May Allah make it easy for us to perfect our characters to the best of our ability and try our best to emulate the perfect character of Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him. O oh Allah, guide us to be sincere to you always. Amin. Subhanak Allahumma wa bihamdik. Ashhadu an la ilaha illa ant. أستغفرك وأتوب إليك. How perfect you are, O Allah, and I praise you. I bear witness that none has the right to be worshipped but you. I seek your forgiveness and turn to you in repentance.